Hello team and welcome to another ATP Geopolitics video with myself, Jonathan, MSP. So this is a kind of breaking news update because Putin has given a speech, a speech that is kind of in answer to what has taken place over the weekend with the Prigozhin mutiny and the Wagner PMC. Uh, Prigozhin, as we know, is in Belarus now. Uh, he has been kind of exiled there. Uh, Lukashenko, the premier, the dictator, I guess, of Belarus, brokered the deal People are still trying to work out exactly what the deal was, whether actually Wagner and Prigozhin were pushed into an agreement due to some realisations of that things weren't going to go well in Moscow, or maybe that, that some family members of Wagner were being targeted by the FSB or whatever. Lots of different sort of rumours going around. Actually, the Ukraine latest podcast did quite a good analysis of why they think, and I'll share that with you tomorrow, why they think uh, the, the Prigozhin did this volt fast. Anyway, Putin has done this speech and it has been met with quite a lot of disdain from Russians themselves. Uh, there may be a chance that actually there's a second speech to come because people are like, well, really, is that it? Uh, what we learned from his speech, uh, it's no, there's no transcription yet, but uh, he made a speech saying the armed rebellion would have been su suppressed anyway. So Wagner fighters would have been taken out in Moscow or, or whatnot. The organizers of the rebellion portrayed the people. This is exactly what the neo-Nazis in Kiev and the West wanted. They wanted the Russians to kill each other. So this is kind of blaming Prigozhin and, and the, the organizers, I guess. The vast majority of Wagner fighters are patriots uh, and they were used in the dark. So they were kind of being manipulated by the powers that be. The vast majority of Wagner fighters, uh, sorry, thanks to the stopped Wagner fighters, there was no bloodshed. And he suggests that the Wagner fighters sign a contract with the MOD, uh, return home or go to Belarus. A no report says of the same uh, speech, pretty much exactly the same summary there. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything extra that he adds other than no word about Shoigu Grezmov. Uh, Prigozhin got fooled, he's, he says. It, it seems Lukashenko postponed his speech. So he was due to make a speech as well today, uh, Lukashenko. Uh, now, here are some responses from some people uh, or, or entities who are pro-Ukrainian or, or allied and whatnot. Uh, Kiev Independent says Putin claims Wagner rebellion would have been put down in any case. The solidarity of our society has shown that any blackmail and attempts to stir up internal turmoil are doomed to failure, uh, says the Russian dictator. And Thomas Tyner says, just listen to the world's most pathetic loser address his nation. Weak, feeble, cowed, gibberish. As said yesterday, Putin is a breathing corpse. All it needs is a more popular general to coup. And this brittle regime and frail geezer are toast. Um, pretty scathing synopsis there. Max Seddon uh, says of this, uh, Putin is speaking, he thanks Russians for their restraint, unity and patriotism, any blackmail and unrest is doomed to fail. Uh, Putin says the uprising was doomed to fail and that its organisers, even though they lost their sense of right and wrong, couldn't have failed to realise that. He also seems uh, to say that Ukraine was involved somehow and calls a result revenge for their failed counter-offensive. I mean, that's uh, really highly unrealistic. Uh, Putin ranted about Wagner's treason a bit more and then it cut out. He didn't actually announce anything. I mean, what the heck, says Max Seddon. Uh, Russian pro-war telegram channels are hyping this up like Putin was going to fire Shoigu or annex Belarus. The main news was Putin said Wagner's fighters should either sign up for the MOD, go home or go to Belarus. Looks like the standoff is not exactly resolved just yet. I'm not sure why Putin bothered to put this out, except for the fact that Prigozhin made a big statement today that dominated headlines. Amazing how Prigozhin is setting the agenda over Putin entire rule. I can only recall Navalny doing that or Chechen rebels if you go way back. Uh, and now Lukashenko isn't actually going to make a big speech either. Uh, Peskov now says that Putin is holding, so he's uh, the spokesperson for the Kremlin, holding a meeting with his top security officials. Not sure what to make of that other than the Kremlin says Shoigu is there, indicating he's sticking around. Also the first sighting of Zolotov, who has been suspiciously quiet. Okay, if we go to uh, other news here before we look at some of the Russian responses, the second part of Putin's appeal will soon be at a meeting with the security forces. Don't stray far from your blue screens, uh, Kremlin pool. Uh, and uh, here we have Rob Lee saying, uh, Rebar suggests there will be a...
Raffle in the MOD, but instead of Shoigu and Gerasimov, in other words, Shoigu and Gerasimov might not be going, it will be Rudskoy, who's a main operational director at Butvatslev, uh, main combat training directorate, and Burdinsky, the main organizational mobilizational directorate. So these are possibly scapegoats, really. Um, the chief of main operational director of the general staff is a very important position, so this would be significant, but Prigozhin's anger was focused at Shoigu and Gerasimov, and Shoigu's position seems safe for the moment. Uh, so it's really bizarre speech, trying to work out what's going on. Now, people like Evil Gherkin, so Igor Strokov, Igor Gherkin, following Putin's speech said, and this is incredibly dangerous, he's going to end up in Belarus or out of a window soon. I haven't seen anything more pitiful in the performance of a man remotely resembling the president. The confusion, confusion continues. I mean, that is scathing. Uh, again, you know, um, stroke of being reported as saying that in, in a number of sources, uh, by a number of sources. The most interesting part, says Tatragami, is that even the Z crowd in pro Putin's channels don't seem pleased with their Fuhrer's speech. Uh, obviously, you know, choice choice words there from Tatragami himself. And there, there are lots, there is lots of evidence of Russians not being happy. So, yes, Igor Gherkin may be. You know, unchar uh, sort of characteristically unhappy and actually taking it out directly on Putin now. But there are others as well. And if, and if you go and look at just general Russians, okay, okay, and that's it, that's all. Um, what was that? Wow, are you a dumbass? All these kind of responses actually are, are sort of statements you wouldn't have seen like a year and a half ago. You wouldn't have seen a year ago. There seems to be this growing perhaps realisation and courage to uh, uh, you know, communicate that realisation that, that Putin isn't all that in a bag of chips. And so I, I, it's going to be fascinating to see if Shoigu and Gerasimov don't get moved on, uh, that if nothing happens to them, that would be that would play into Putin's hands in getting the upper hand over uh, over Prigozhin. You can see this deal being done with Prigozhin and maybe Putin reneging on that. He seems to be blaming Prigozhin now. Prigozhin seems to still be in, in being investigated at the moment for that treasonous uh, you know, activity, as Commissant reported earlier. So I, I don't know what's going on. This is early doors. I mean, there will be a lot more to say about this in the coming hours. Uh, but as it gets later on in the UK time, this is kind of the only time I'd have to give it some kind of response just to let you guys know kind of what's going on. Uh, but it, but a, there will be a lot more to come. And obviously, there, well, not obviously, but it appears that there's going to be a, a second speech or some kind of, uh, I don't know whether there's a statement or anything that will come out of the meeting with the security uh, security services. So, yeah, Putin is looking weaker and weaker. However, at the same time, he might have outmaneuvered Prigozhin here. Uh, we we will see. I guess we will see what happens. It, this is like a sort of game of chess uh, in, internally to Russia without involving uh, without involving Kiev. Although he did, you know, Putin did try to blame uh, the Ukrainians at least somewhat. Now, with regard to what Prigozhin said earlier, uh, this is coming from the Telegraph live update going back to 4.58 uh, UK time. So this is now like quarter past nine UK time. Prigozhin, whose troops last weekend were just 200 kilometers from uh, reaching Moscow, appears to have extended an olive branch to Putin. Uh, after he reached a last minute deal with the Kremlin and got his troops to turn back, speculation was rife whether he had towed the line from his reported exile in Belarus. In an 11-minute audio message, the man once known as Putin's chef, uh, made it clear that the daring show of force was not what everyone else thought, definitely not a coup. Clearly aiming at his critics who were angry that with Russian law enforcement, letting Mr. Prigozhin off the hook for after his troops shot down several Russian warplanes and helicopters, uh, the Wagner boss even apologised for the loss of life. In a, system, in, in a system of power where he has got away with criticising anyone but the head of state, Mr. Prigozhin swore allegiance to President Putin, insisting his troops marched on to Moscow to show protest, but not to topple the government. Uh, we are sorry that we had to strike the aircraft, but that aircraft was dropping bombs and launching missile strikes on us. He also thanked Belarusian President Lukashenko for reaching out and offering to find a way out to continue PMC Wagner's work 
within a legal framework. Uh, he said uh, that he was merely fighting for the survival of Wagner, which he claims was going to be disbanded by June the f uh, July the 1st. We were there to show our protest not to topple the government, he said in his rambling 11-minute long audio message as he praised his troops for taking Rostov and stopping 200 kilometers short of Moscow, and they did not want to spill the blood of Russian soldiers. The goal of the march was to prevent the destruction of Wagner PMC and to bring justice to those people who caused a great number of mistakes by their unprofessional actions during during the war uh and yeah so that 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 seems to be uh where that was um what he was all about just trying to see if there's any other uh, remarks no so then it's all about the putin remarks that that seem to kind of implicate uh you know uh Prigozhin. Here's, here's another bit on Prigozhin. Rebellion was a masterclass in how to launch an invasion. Earlier today, uh, he said it was a masterclass in how to launch an invasion. Uh, shed light on so many things we talked about before. Grave security breached across the country. We blocked all military units and airfields that were on our in our way. The aim of the mutiny was to avoid the destruction of Wagner Group and mercenaries, uh, not to overthrow the country's leadership. As I mentioned before, the recording is the first time Prigozhin had been heard since he announced that his troops were to turn back after the call was coup, coup was called off on Saturday evening. As part of the deal struck between those two, brokered by Lukashenko, Prigozhin was to relocate to Belarus. So uh, that which we knew. Okay, so yeah, it, it just seems like, I don't know. I think Putin is reasserting his superiority over Prigozhin here, is my initial uh, thought, uh, my initial thoughts, uh, whilst also showing yourself to be weak just in general. I think there's, you know, these kind of reactions from the Russians are testament to Putin not being the strongman leader uh, as showing weaknesses in his own kind of direction, uh, leadership over the war effort. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I, as I say, lots more to comment on, I'm sure, over the next few hours. But here's a little taster for you to give you uh, something to think about. Uh, thanks anyway. I'll be doing my normal videos tomorrow morning. So until then, take care.